It's like a, uh, my hair grew two inches since yesterday. A little bit of extra, it's like feathered here. And I don't do anything to make this happen, nothing. I comb it back here in the morning, you know, when my hair is wet, and it just does this, so. Oh man, it gets annoying sometimes, you know, when I'm like, what's in my eye? And then I realize, oh, it's my hair in my eye. My hair, really. Longest I've had it since like I was like three or four years old. And you know, I have pictures of myself when I was a kid, um, you know, having long hair. Longer than this, I think. I mean, relative to my skull size back then. It's crazy. Another live stream, everyone. Oh man, spent the day doing a bunch of stuff. I read the script for the Florida Project. Great script. I haven't seen the movie. Um, Sean Baker directed it and wrote it. I wait, he wrote it, right? Yeah. Um, great script. Uh, intense. And I really want to see the movie. I, I've seen like one clip of Willem Dafoe, which is not in the script of him, sort of uh, like trying to talk to these um, flamingos. Click like everyone, there's five people here. Should be five likes, it's simple math. Yeah, four people. Look at this, this glove is so cheap. Every pair of gardening gloves I get, the left hand it rips open. I read the script for Florida Project, I saw a movie movie was not good. I'm not going to talk about it because at this point I really don't like speaking ill of anyone's movies unless they're kind of old and like really obscure like some crappy B movie you know it doesn't matter but I just try as a rule not to because someday I may work with these people too. Now I would hope they would feel comfortable criticizing my work because what do I care I put it out there but still you know just don't want to do that but uh did all that hey guys and then um I wrote, and I, I was so upset today because I didn't write much until, I didn't write anything until tonight. I thought, I'm not doing a live stream until I write at least a page. And then I thought, I got to keep going. I wrote two pages, and really I could have kept going, and I might because I'm in getting, you know, sort of get in the zone trying to crack a story that's given me such trouble for years now that I really want to make a crime sort of morality story, mor morality tale and a crime thriller. And it's been giving me such problems, and I've had so many different versions of it play out in my head. And, um, you know, when you get going, you never know when the next idea is going to come. It's like you got to write out the bad ideas. And I've literally written so many dozens and dozens of pages of just stories that don't work for this one basic story. And now I feel like I'm getting closer onto it, the one I need to make. Um, no, I haven't seen The Lobster. That's the Yorgos Lanthimos movie, right? No, I want to see that. Um, it's funny. He directed Dogtooth, which I hear is a very sexually explicit film. I showed my mom like a scene or a trailer for it or something, you know, where they use some explicit language. Ice cream trucks coming by. And, um, and she, and, and, oh, and the movie's in Greek. That's the thing. So my mom doesn't miss anything, you know, when she's seeing that. Ice cream truck. Oh, okay, it just stopped. I thought, like, why is it going like one mile an hour? And it's playing Christmas music. Uh, Rudolph the Red Nosed Rain, but reindeer. I swear, man, what the hell? Is <laughs> and it's August. Hey, but it's cool. That's I guess that's LA for you, this crazy town. You never know what time of year it is based on the weather, kind of, because it's always. Uh, wait. Yeah. It's always uh, warm. Oh, now it's, she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. That's better. I'll play Christmas music now. Uh, yeah, my hair's ridiculously long now, at least for me. Like, it's all fat. I don't do anything for this, by the way. It just naturally curls, and it's getting so long. I smell weed. Um, maybe. Oh, I see. Ice cream man was selling something to someone. But uh, what was I saying about your gross line themos? Uh, dog tooth. I showed my mom a clip. I think it's about, I forget what exactly, two women who are lovers or something. I'm not sure, but I showed her a clip or a trailer. And it's funny, it's subtitled, so I could see what they're saying, explicit sexual stuff. But it's funny, my mom didn't freak out the way she does in English. She was just... Because <laughs> it's weird. She had a mix of being interested because it was in Greek. 
but also being shocked. And so it see it sounded like stuff I know she's heard in Greek because she heard what they were saying and she's like <gasps> Like, she was like that, like, almost like she was going back to her own past to remember, like, oh, what they're talking about. So, um, yeah, I'd like to get her to review Dogtooth at some point. And also, I wish I could show her Vic Berger videos. He just released a hilarious video of uh, Trump, that imbecile who's unleashed the Trump virus on us, um, mispronouncing Yosemite National Park as Yosemites, Yosemites, and he can't pronounce like uh, like plant refuges, uh, like plant refuges. He's like plant refuges, and he gives this look like I can't believe I'm reading this shit. Like plant refuges, like he kind of like does this, you know? Such a moron. Can you imagine if Obama talked like that, that moronically? If uh, how conservatives would react, and um, I'm not even like a defender of Obama. But, um, anyways, it's just, you know, I, come on, conservatives, how can you not think uh, this guy's brain is bad? Uh, thank you, Don, yes. Um, click like, everyone. It makes sense. It's a great plan for you and me. The job search is uh, it's tough because I'm like, crap, man. I pretty much applied to the three jobs that are one in the area, have sort of decent shifts. I'm not trying to go full-time or overnight, even though one has an overnight option. But... You know, I started realizing, man, it's been like two or three days since I applied to the first two. Haven't heard anything, which is no big deal. But the thing is, it's got me thinking, what if I don't hear anything in a week, two weeks? There's got to be tons of a people applying. What? Tons of a people? Tons of people applying to these jo <coughs> Ugh, jobs. And um, I'm like, damn, man. First of all, I got to keep live streaming and making videos. I felt better today overall. I slept well last night. Um, I still could not bang out burpees. I don't know what is with me. Maybe because I'm barely eating protein. I'm really cutting down on calories. And um, I did do a bunch of pull-ups and dips. Uh, those, those I could do fine. It's just I got to rest from doing burpees for a little while. And um, I, I was looking at a few other jobs today. I was at Sunspace and I had to leave um, after a certain time. And uh, I was upset because I didn't write yet. I felt my day was empty, so I wrote down two pages in my notebook trying to crack this story, meaning just outline it and develop, not even outline it. I literally just write paragraphs of what if this happens? How do we solve this problem? What if this character does this? How does this other character know this one? Because they can't all just be a mess of unrelated people. It all has to reflect on a single idea in the story. If you watch a great movie like Up, you know what clearly how everything relates to the one character of Carl Fredrickson. Um, and you know how everything relates to his desire to go to Paradise Falls. And it all stems from that. And the loss of his wife. It's perfectly clear. You watch a bad movie, stuff is uh, like jarbled. What's the word? Garbled. Jumbled up. I mixed up jumbled and garbled. I, I jarbled it. And um, things are not clear at all which was kind of like the movie I saw today. I'm not going to name it because I really don't want to put down people's movies, and I admire the intent behind the movie. It clearly went for something. I just thought it was so um, poorly written. That was the big thing. And, um, and also, you know, the fact that I'm not a film critic, really, that I'm a filmmaker, and at a certain point, I may end up working with some of these people. I, I don't need to put down the movie. There's no point for me. I mean, I do kind of want to be educational about it, but again, it's not, I don't need to, it's, uh, you know, I'll criticize really bad old B-movies like um, The Bloodwaters of Dr. Z, also known as Zat, or what the hell else have I seen? Rotor, um, terrible Terminator ripoff with a villain who's a robot police officer that wants to kill a couple for a traffic violation and chases the surviving woman of part of the couple through the whole movie and he's just this <laughs> he doesn't he's not anything like Arnold Schwarzenegger doesn't have that magnetism doesn't have the body like him he's just this kind of vaguely sort of chubby-ish which I'm not criticizing anyone for being overweight I am struggling with it as we speak uh, chubby-ish white guy with a mustache that's it. That's your villain. And uh, the movie makes absolutely no sense. Um, anyways, 
Uh, yeah, so I decided I, I got to write tonight. I made myself write two and a half pages or so. I want to write more, but I also want to do this live stream. You know, writing's really important. And yet, I'm realizing, looking at jobs, I looked at more jobs today. I'm like, shit. I pretty much already looked through a bunch of the ones that were any kind of decent option, at least on the major job sites like Craigslist, which I check every day. But there's not much being posted there. Indeed.com was one that I looked at that has a lot of stuff. But I already, again, I already looked through a lot of the stuff that's been posted in the last 30 days. And uh, I looked at Snag a Job. I didn't really find anything there. I was interested. A lot of customer service stuff. Um, so yeah, it's getting a little tough uh, to search for stuff. And I'm just thinking, man, at some point I'm just going to have to, you know, just swallow my, you know, bite my tongue. That's what I mean to say. And... Buy my time? No, swallow my pride and just, if I have to take something full time at a warehouse, even at fucking Amazon, I may need to, even though I despise that company. <sighs> Excuse me, I have some business to do. Um, but yeah, I, I wish I could uh, show my mom Vic Burger videos. I used, used to show them to her all the time and um, get her reaction and then I would post it on YouTube, you know, I'd film it and then send it to Vic and Vic a lot of times would share it. So it's too bad because he put out a hilarious one today of Trump mispronouncing Yosemite National Park as Yosemites, Yosemites. And then it was so funny. At one point, he tries to read off on his copy. He's talking about um, like a plant refuge or something, refuge or uh, animal refuge. But he's a oh, wildlife refuge. But he pronounces like like wild wild leaf life uh, refuges or something. And he gives this look like refuges, like like he's like, what is this shit that I'm reading? So uh, the refuges and uh, Yosemites or Semenites, I guess these are followers of the uh, semen religion. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show it to my mom because I'm like, she would have cracked up at that. And uh, man, I haven't eaten anything green in a while, like lettuce. Just eating every day peanut butter. I My food stamp card got money on it again, so I got sardines, peanut butter, and water bottles. That's pretty much all. I, oh, and oatmeal. Um, I eat every day, and that's pretty much it. And uh, not the worst thing for me, but also I could afford to eat some salads. And uh, I don't really have the money for that, even with the food stamp card. It's too expensive. Most places... So, uh, McDonald's, they don't take food stamps, apparently. Or at least the one I went to, but I thought they did, they don't. Um, I could actually... Jack in the Box does have a side salad that I could get for, like, $2. I should get that once in a while. That actually is a good option. But yeah, other than that, I gotta save my money. That's why I'm not trying to buy, you know, the big chicken salads or even the chicken teriyaki bowls at Jack in the Box. Even though those are pretty healthy too, they got rice, broccoli, and chicken. My hair is um, so long, and this does not, by the way, this is t totally natural, this feathering here. I guess it happens on everybody, but um, just, uh, it's fine, except to get, I I'm getting to the point where it's like, what do people do with long hair to keep it out of their face? They get headbands or what? Like, because it gets in my eyes, you know, when I'm driving sometimes. I'm like, ah, crap. 
Uh, click like everyone helps the video out again this is part of my job too is doing these videos and struggling every day to get back to normal I did feel a little better today um, although I felt so good it was distracting it made me a little hyper and it was hard to concentrate somewhat and then I dissociated slightly very slightly but um, you know I'm getting better overall uh, and I slept well last night. I made a point of going to sleep by like 9.20. I'm already tired, but I don't want to nap or anything. Obviously, I want to do this live stream. I'll wait until, um, you know, it's time to sleep, to sleep. Like, try and get to sleep around 9 o'clock. And also, it helped that it was cool enough to sleep with my sleeping bag on last night. For a few nights, it was so warm, I had to have the windows way down and nothing in the, no cardboard in the windows. So it was a little freaky because of the privacy thing. And also, um, it was still too warm. And also the lights are coming in the car, you know, so it was a little harder to sleep when I was uh, sleeping like that. It's nicer when I have the privacy, everything blocked out and I'm in my sleeping bag and I'm very comfortable. So it was hard to sleep for several nights. Yeah, but I don't want to use a hair product that's going to make my hair like gel or whatever. I don't want to do that. Or hairspray, hell no. And I, pomade, I have that, but that shit gets so greasy all over everything. So yeah, it gets in my eyes, and sometimes I wonder, like, what the hell's in my eye, you know? And it's not terrifying sleeping in my car like that, but I know at some point it'd be a good idea to have a home. But even if I made $2,400 a month, which, you know, they'll take out taxes from that, but working full-time, $15 an hour, it works out to something like that. Let's say 2000 a month. Um, that's not a lot of money to rent a place and gas, car insurance, phone bill, food, um, any other expenses whatsoever, you know, uh, at some point I want to get a new laptop. My laptop overheats a lot and it gets really slow when it does that. Um, it's tough and, uh, I mean, well, not about that, but I mean, getting money together is tough. Uh, I can survive with the laptop the way it is, but I need, and I back up everything, you know, all my documents and stuff, these screenplays I'm writing, all that. But I, uh, you know, it'd be good if I could get a new laptop at some point, all that stuff, it, you know, it'll wipe me out financially. So even when I get a job, if I get one, I don't know, if YouTube takes off for me, I can do this full time, but um, if I get a job, then uh, I'll still have to sleep in my car, and it's fine. I'm willing to do it. I've done it for nearly two years now. Use argon oil, it keeps your hair natural. I'll keep that in mind. Um, sounds like something I could get at what, a grocery store or CVS or something. I go to Vallarta a lot, and it smells like weed. Uh, Vallarta doesn't have a lot of necessarily, well, I know, it might have that, I don't know. In the there, There's a big section for the shampoos and everything. Um, I was thinking more, they don't have as many like multivitamins and stuff. I remember I was looking for magnesium there one day, they didn't have that. It's a very small selection that they have. Uh, but I like going there because it's not busy a lot and I get super cheap water bottles there. These ones are a dollar each, huge. And the other ones I get are um, 65 cents. I don't have any here. Anyways, um, yeah, so I'm still waiting to hear back from three jobs, but I know I also probably should apply to more because they're probably getting hundreds of applications, and what are the odds I'm going to stand out when I clearly look desperate for work? And even though I have a somewhat decent work history for just manual labor jobs like car washing and stuff, um, there's tons of people like that, you know, who can do that, so... You know, it's going to be tough. You've been furloughed since April? Yeah, that's tough. And, uh, yeah, I, you can make money as a dog walker, from what I've heard, if you walk a bunch of dogs together. 
I wouldn't want to do that. I just don't want the responsibility. I walked a guy's dog for one day. I got fucking sick of it. I couldn't stand it. Not because I didn't like the dog or anything. I just did not want to be away from filmmaking. Click like, everyone. Helps the video out. I'm going to try and block out this back window better. better. Just put this thing down. It blocks the side view mirror that causes this, and it's annoying when it gets on my face at a certain time of night. That's the easy solution. You know it looks weird. And my stomach is still so big. What do I expect, right? I'm not going to lose 20 pounds in one day. But, uh, yeah, I'm still cutting back my calories majorly, and just drinking lots of water. Gotta drink lots of water. By the way, eh, I don't follow any of this YouTube celebrity stuff, whatever that's going on. But I saw Jake Paul, his house got raided, and it's in Calabasas. Is, I guess that's around L.A. I don't even know. I'm like, what the hell could they be raiding his house for? And, uh, you know, innocent until proven guilty and all that. I have no fucking idea what it was. But it was interesting to see that apparently a bunch of, like, SWAT teams and stuff came out with, and they were holding like shotguns and rifles walking out of his house with them. And also his house is massive. I'm like, damn, he, he got that house with YouTube money and I'm sure brand deals and his music and, and, uh, merchandise as well. Who knows? I don't know. He's worked on, maybe he has a TV show or something. Again, I don't follow this stuff. I don't care, but eh, it was kind of, cause it was trending today and on Twitter and I was like, whoa, what the hell? I don't know if it was like, you know, but, you know, just wondering, like, is this a bogus thing? Is this uh, just to send a message to him? Apparently they walked out with a bunch of rifles and weapons, so that's weird. A light 